sorry about the delay. Uh, been out here a little bit, but not a lot, working on the system. Been outside working on the fruit trees quite a bit. And I spent a couple days up at the church uh, getting some stuff ready so we can stream live every Sunday. Doing that, and I was sick for a few days. I was out of commission. What I normally do is just try to suck it up and keep working, then I'm just a bad worker for two weeks. So I finally took my wife's advice and just chilled for a couple days and it kind of knocked itself through. So in the whole scheme of work things, I should have been doing that all along. So yeah, but got the tanks up and the drainage in. It's all ready to go. I just got to get the pump going. Uh, pumps down and in place. Just got to finish the wiring, but there's no rush to that right now. I don't have to. I can give you kind of the system going through. Uh, I can see the tanks. I originally had them and I put them up on these blocks. Everything was working good. I just like the little extra flow. Without those blocks, let me go here. That drainage in there was going into that. Only about an inch down flow, and I didn't like that. This pipe was, was almost full the whole time. I didn't like that. Putting them up on the blocks, it goes down and it just shoots out of this pipe, uh, which is really nice, so do that. But inside here, you can see, and I'll show you, let me show you this one first. In here, you can see how this is my standpipe. That'll be the height of the water. Uh, it'll be right about here. So on the other side, it'll go up to about there. So there'll be that much of a gap with no water. And that goes, PVC goes directly all the way down to right there, inside. And that pipe just goes over. And then here's my uh, drain pipe, and you can see the holes I cut, that will go over this, so it'll have to. So it'll look like this right here. So you can see over there, you can see the holes on the side from this pipe. And you can see, I don't know if you can see the stamp pipe down in there. Probably can't. So with this conical bottom, it's nice because it'll all settle down, and all the solids are at the lowest point, so there's not even a really a gap down there. So. I uh, put a little water in just to test it and everything, and it everything worked fine. I had no leaks, no nothing. So, and one question I had is, am I going to put windows in here? Uh, no, I am not. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, if I was doing a lot, a lot, a lot of tours, I might think about it. But it's just one more thing you have to worry about and you have to do and everything like that. So I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm going to always have this here, and then I'll have a nice step stool for people if they want to go up and look at the fish. So, And another nice thing, it keeps the real little kids from playing with it, because no matter what you do, if you have a window, you're going to have people knocking on it all the time, and you don't want that for the fish and everything like that, because this is a commercial. It isn't really a public, so that's why I did that. So, Okay, so you can see it drains down into there, into the 4-inch goes right there just got to bury it into there you can see I got it going right into the sump down there and pump you can see I got the pump down there coming up a two inch all the way and right there I got a check valve so the water can only go this way so if I turn the pump off and I didn't have the check valve all the water in the pipe because all my plumbing's up on top all the water above that pump would drain down and flood that compartment down there. So that check valve does that, keeps it going. Or if the pump goes out, uh, you can put a valve in. I put a valve in right here. That will do it too, but all this water will go out. Plus if the pump stops and I'm not here, you know, then, uh, it, you know, it'll flood it down there. So what I have is it coming up and I got it just a T with a half inch. And all is this half inch does is it's for these, this bed and that bed. That's all that's for. So I got the two inch all the way up to here and then I got it going into a one inch. The one inch comes up in T's. This goes that way. I do not have it connected yet. And you can see it coming to here, and that'll go into this here. 
for the living wall and the Dutch buckets. So here's what I'm doing with these tanks here. A little different. It's going to kind of be a little different, but so this water coming, let me back up be a little easier. This water coming from this sump, you know, is being pumped to the Dutch buckets and the wall. The wall and the Dutch buckets will drain and go into that sump there. Now, I'm still going to keep one pump in there because I got two there now. One for the fish tanks and one for the living wall. One pump is going to pump to the fish tanks and drain into the solids removal back to this sump. You're thinking, well, that's going to add extra water because all the water coming in from there is going to go in here. I'm going to bury a two inch line right here going across and draining in there. So this sump water will constantly get changed. It'll be draining, whatever drains in will be draining out. So that way I can keep this whole extra fish tanks over here because I don't have to get rid of them. I can get rid of them later if I want to. Uh, you know, my plans change constantly. Uh, right now, what I'm kind of leaning towards is one of these being a breeding tank and the other one maybe an adolescent tank, uh, something like that. That's what I'm leaning to now, but you know how that changes. I can also change it to a couple catfish because catfish like flat bottoms. If you have a canonical bottoms, you can't have catfish. They do not like those bottoms. They like a flat bottom. So if you build tanks and you get the flat bottom ones, you know, you can do, you can have catfish in them too. So, okay, that's how that plumbing works over there. Then that's what was teed that way. This tees this way, comes here, tees off right here uh, yeah right there goes down I just got it valved off here this pipe will be for the grow towers down here and this goes here and goes down right there to the two fish tanks I got these to regulate how much can go into each fish tank uh, the way they are now up here is you can see they're just barely sticking over the tank for now. Uh, when I turned it on, just held the wire to see. It was going straight in, it wasn't going anywhere, but I'm still gonna bring it in and I'll decide I'll put a 45 on here and angle the 45 the way I want to create the most splash to get the most oxygen. Because remember what I did said before, I got an oxygen meter and with my splashing I have, I get just as much, I don't get any more oxygen adding oxygen stones anywhere oh you know anywhere if i had a floating bed then i would definitely get air stones uh that's almost a must if you have a floating bed you best get some air stones because uh, you're just not going to get enough oxygen for the for those plants sitting in the water like that but with uh, the you don't have to worry about that with the vertical towers that's another awesome thing with the vertical towers Another good thing about the vertical towers is I really don't have to worry about a solids device like a lot of places do. Solids can go right in the towers, that's fine. Uh, it's actually beneficial for them and actually having some worms in there is actually beneficial too. The only time you really don't want worms in the towers is if you're selling them to customers. Worms crawling out just might grow some of them out, although you can explain to them what they do and how they do it and everything like that. It's still clean, but you know it just might gross some people out so but that's it and if you didn't want that you, but yeah you there's different stuff you could do but i actually invite worms and then i'm gonna have worms in these two beds here uh this bed above my sump in hindsight i would not do this again uh it's there i'm gonna keep it if uh somebody else does it just to do it yeah it's just more of a pain to get in and out. Sometimes you crawl up and down. Maybe six months from now, I'll be happy that I did this for one extra grow bed. But right now, climbing in and out of there when I'm working on that is kind of a pain. Because uh, although that looks like a big area there, it just up and down, up and down when you're working on it, you know, is, isn't, you know, it's just harder. So, but that's it there. Uh, and I think I showed you guys, I'm not sure. Two dirt beds we do have in here I just finished, uh, just filled them up. Uh, that 
bay leaf is going to be bay leaf uh, shrubs going to be there permanently. Uh, this avocado is going to go right there, and these beds will have uh, some peppers in them year round. Uh, and some other crops like that. So the, these these will be peppers, probably peppers and tomatoes year round, and other stuff as needed. But the, these will be the pepper and the tomato plants that we have for years, you know, and probably retire the pepper plants every four to six years, and the tomatoes every two to four years, depending on how they are. So as long as they don't, they'll just keep producing and producing and producing. Because remember that one I had before we tore this out, we had four years. So that was actually really nice. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, sorry for the delay. Uh, you can see I am 6'2", just a hair over 6'2", and you are looking at my eye level right here. So you can see these tanks. I can peek in. If I peek up, this is what I see from this side, which is fine. If I get up right next to it, I can uh, see that. So people are kind of wondering what I can see. So I can see most of it. Uh, but I get up on the concrete side, I can look straight down into it. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoy this thing. Everybody have a great day. Uh, and I'm going to do a year in review wood stove. What I'm going to do different for next year to help out. But just a quick synopsis. That's great. Love it, love it, love it. I'm going to do one thing to help out next year though. So that's it. I hope everybody has a great day.